Hey guys, Anthony here from Signal by Sony, a show about everything Sony makes, and I'm excited to give you an exclusive first look at the latest in Sony's NEX line. I'm joined now by Kenta from the digital imaging team. You're one of my favorite people to see because you always bring <laughs> fun new cameras for me. What are we looking at today? So we're looking at the NEX F3 today. This is the successor to the NEX C3. Okay. Just to remind you, this is a mirrorless camera, what they call a mirrorless camera, so you can see directly into uh, the sensor. Yeah. And that's an APS-C size sensor. Okay. Okay, see there, cool. So, so they, uh, the entire NEX line so far has been uh, APS-C as well. So Correct, yeah. that's as big as some of the, the Alpha DSLRs and stuff, the oh, full yeah, body stuff. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Um, so what has changed about the F3 from the C3? So a lot of core technology has changed. Um, the resolution is ma maintained. It's a 16.1 megapixel image sensor. Okay. But um, it's combined with the latest Beyond processor. Okay. From the A77, actually. Oh, very cool. So now you're able to shoot in very low light. It, the max ISO is 16,000. Wow. So that's what a, was the max on the on the C3? That's a 12,800. Okay. So this is a huge difference. It's a huge difference. Awesome. Yeah. So what uh, what else is new here? We've got uh, the, the improved sensor. Improved. Probably means that there is some new video stuff on this Correct. too, right? Yeah. So with the new processor. Processor. Now we have uh, full HD, 1080, 60i video, and also 24p. Okay, cool. And the uh, the C3 was uh, 720p MP4. Correct. Yeah. So this is the 1080 at mm -hmm. the AVC HD. So you can shoot using your NEX F3 broadcast and broadcast quality video. That's so or nuts. Even, yeah, <laughs> even shoot cinema like you know movies. Awesome. So what other new stuff are we going to see with the F3? So we introduced something um, called auto portrait framing, right. the A57. Yeah, yes. if you remember. Yeah, and that's cool. That's the one where you where you take a picture of somebody and it will automatically kind of compose the picture and crop right. it for you to make it more attractive. Yep. So that's on the NEX S3. The cool, cool thing about that feature is that it really teaches you how to shoot better photography. But yeah, know. absolutely. Like because you'll take a picture and you'll be like, I think I got mm -hmm. that pretty much perfect, and then it'll just crop it and so, like so, and you're like. Oh. oh. So next time. Next time. Next yeah. time. Very cool. And uh, there's some other hardware changes here too. Yeah. I'm noticing the screen looks a little different. Screen looks a little bit different. Um, this is the really cool stuff. Watch this. Okay. Wah bam. Wah hey. <laughs> so now you can shoot yourself. Very cool. So well, you know a... what a narcissist I am, Kenta. <laughs> so that's great. So it has a self-portrait mode. Okay. Oh, you can shoot it like that, or it'll have a uh, three-second counter. Okay, well. cool, and that pops up on the screen, mm -hmm. so I know. Yep. That's very awesome. And, and can you shoot video like this too? Correct. So I'm also noticing it's a little bit bigger, isn't it? A little bit yeah. bigger. And you'll be surprised because we have a built-in flash now. Very cool. So this is very handy. Um, what so we... that's coming down from the seven. Until now, the right. only other NEX camera that had that was mm -hmm. the seven, seven, right? Yep. So, so cool. yeah, we heard a lot of user uh, feedback on this one, and you know, we had the uh, the flash included into the kits, mm -hmm. but people f forgot to take them with them. So. We yeah. built it into the, in the camera. Very so cool. Yeah, very one less thing to carry around. Correct. Comes yeah. in handy for sure. So it looks like we're seeing a lot of stuff trickling down from the higher end SLR lines. What else are we seeing in the NEX that's new? That's a really good point. Um, there's also a feature called Clear Image Zoom. Okay. And it's like digital zoom, but a little bit better. Okay. Because what, inside the camera, it has all, a big database of patterns and all these scenes. So when you're, when you're out in the field and when you're taking pictures, uh, the, if you want to digitally zoom using Clear Image Zoom, uh, it's picking up those patterns and okay. interpolating all the missing pixels for you. So let's talk about battery life on this one. You've added a lot of new stuff. How does that affect the battery life? Yes, so now the electronics are completely new. So from the C3, you had 400 shots per battery charge, mm -hmm. but now it goes all the way up to 470. And also it has USB charging. So oh, that's so good. On the, when you're on the go, when you're traveling, you can just charge it on your laptop or mm -hmm. your I forget my charger like all the time. Yeah. Like all the time, and I've looked at it before, and I've looked at my laptop, and I've looked at the USB cable, mm -hmm. and I've just been like, why can't I just? Exactly, so. <laughs> that's awesome, one less thing to carry around as well. So along with this, I'm sure, come some other new goodies. I have a lens right in front of me here. Tell me about this guy. It's a beautiful lens. It's an 18-200. Do you think how far this just went out? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, for those of you who know, uh, there was an 18200. We're not yes. replacing that lens. This okay. is uh, a smaller version of that lens for the, uh, the still imaging side. Okay, cool. So what, what are the differences between uh, between this lens and the and the older 18 to 200? The older 18 200 lens is a kit lens for the VG10 right. or the VG20. Okay. And that's really meant for video usage. But this one, if you're on about, you know, when you're traveling light, you want a smaller lens, yeah. but you want that reach. Right? right, and then the old 18 to 200, because you're using it with video, it's kind of nice to have that wide barrel to do the focusing. Correct. Correct. Cool, so this is awesome. And I, I see this yes. is sitting here too, and I know that in, in the past, if you were a, an NEX3 owner or a C3 owner, you couldn't use the uh, this OLED viewfinder yep. with your camera. Yep. Is, does this work with the F3 now? It does, because this one has the smart terminal too. So now it connects. So when you're in broad daylight, a lot of light, and you can't yeah. see the LCD screen, pop on an OLED. Yeah, and we, yeah, we should mention too, I mean, we've had this on the show before a couple times, but I love this viewfinder because it's not just like looking at some tiny pixely screen. It's just, you would think that you were looking through an optical viewfinder. I so love this thing. It's very store, responsive. Yeah, go to the store, check it out. It's an amazing viewfinder. Awesome. So, I'm noticing this, we've got black, we've got white, we've got silver here. Um, when are we going to be able to grab these? So, the NEX X3 will be available in June for $600. Very and cool. also the 18200 LE lens, uh, that will be available uh, in July for $850. Kenta, thanks so much for coming in. To find out more about the NEX F3, be sure to head to the Sony website. And to watch more Signal videos, go to sony.com signal or youtube.com signal. This is Anthony. We'll see you next time.